is Mavis, throws it out front to Sider. Crossfield pass over to Cuccinello. Greg feeds to his right to Hodgson. And Andrew comes up gimpy and has to run off the field. Andrew Hodgson is being carted off the field. He is not walking. They are taking him in the cart off the field. If it's something, if he can get back on the field, he's going to get back on the field. He doesn't want to end his senior season short. I, I don't know, Hunter. He came running out of the locker room, and now he, he looks like kind of grimacing as he's walking up the side. I kind of just, you know, felt like it was nothing. You know, something that, uh, you know, I'll be out for a week, you know, and then I'll be able to get right back into it. But uh, because it was such a significant injury, um, you know, I noticed that once I came out of halftime, you know, not, not being able to put a lot of weight on it. Um, it kind of hit me hard, but, you know, I, I was, uh, you know, I, I was hopeful, you know, for, for, for the next week and a half, uh, talking to doctors, talking to coaches and, and the, uh, the training staff here, trying to see, you know, what the diagnosis was. And then once I heard about, you know, that I was getting surgery again, it, uh, it, you know, it, it kind of hits you, it hit me as, you know, one of those things where, you know, it's a freak injury, you know, uh, you know, life sometimes throws, throws you a curveball, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, it's either you're going to, you're going to dwell on it, you know, you're going to strike out or, you know, you're going to knock it out of the park with the, uh, with the next opportunity that, that, that comes. It was tough, um, cause he's gone through so much with, uh, being out, um, last year and then fighting his way. He was killing it at the beginning of the year, which is fun to watch. And then. Seeing him go down was, was tough um, for me because, you know, we're pretty close as friends and uh, I just was hoping it wasn't that serious and when I heard the news I was pretty heartbroken. My heart did just go out to him because, you know, being a senior, already missing, you know, his, his true senior year last year due to injury and then coming back and only having half a year to, to finish out your career and a kid that just loves to play so much and is, you know, obviously, you know, he's just such a big part of, of what we do. Yeah, you, know, you feel for that kid. I mean, you want it. You always want a kid to finish out his career on a, on a high note, and um, you know he wasn't able to do that. It was definitely tough, you know, and frustrating. You know, but he's like Andrew's response was was great. He just you know he didn't dwell. He wasn't poor me at all. He was just like, hey, you know, it's it stinks, but you know it's it's what we have to deal with, and we're moving on. Yeah, Max. He's been awesome. He really has been. He's, you know, he's my number one supporter on the sideline. You know, after every good play I have, he's the one, you know, calling me over and, you know, giving me some insight on what I did well, what I did bad. And he, he's just, he's great for the team. You know, he's good spirits and someday he's going to be a good coach if that's what he pursues to do. Right away, you know, the first game, that I, next game, uh, first game that I was out, you know, you go up to, uh, we go up to Binghamton, you know, and you see, you know, my, my fellow fifth year senior, you know, kill it, you know, have a great game, you know, and then, um, you know, throughout the rest of those games, just the fact that the team was still doing good, you know, and, uh, and my teammates and my friends, my family were, uh, you know, were stepping up and, you know, dominating out there, which was cool. He's been a, a huge role in our offense for, for five years or four years what he's played. So it's, it's definitely, um, we're playing for him, you know. He's, he's the guy that's the spirit for us on the sideline. And if he was out there, he, he plays a lot of heart, as you, as you know, watching him play. So I try to play with that same heart. Hodgson does it with one second left in the half. Andrew Hodgson gives Towson a 4-3 lead. So just like my injury last year during the season, I was able to uh, be on the sideline and, and fill a lot of that, that, that coaching role, so to say, and you know, try to get those young kids to you know, try to buy into the system and buy into the, to the coaching staff and, and everything like that, trying to you know, mentor them along. And um, you know, they're very responsive with it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just excited to, you know, to be here and you know, still be around the guys for, you know, for the last year, and I'm definitely gonna enjoy it.